<laughs> Good morning. Hey, it's Wolf Daddy, and uh, of course I'm at the sanctuary. Today is uh, vet visit day, so they've asked me to come in and see if I can uh, passively get Thunder and Alice. Um, Alice needs to have a good look at her. So they both need to get sedated for some hands-on stuff. But Alice does not like to go in a sub-enclosure anymore. Thunder loves to go for walks. But let me just see if I can get them both in the sub-enclosure. Then we can reduce any potential trauma. Because otherwise I may have to just dart uh, our little Alice. And that sucks. So. Hi, beautiful. What are you doing? Huh? Hi, honey, honey, honey. Hi, Thunder Thunder. Come on in. Where's your sister? Alice, come on, baby. You wanna go for a walk? Come on. Sir? Come on, boy boy. Come on, handsome. So I was able to uh, take Thunder for a walk some sedation. Now I'm in with Alice and I'm going to try to dart her but she's being elusive and I don't want to pursue her too much so I'm just going to casually walk up to her and see if I can give her a little dart in the butt. Now she's wondering what dad just did to her as I've got uh, got a little bit of fur on the end of that dart so I did, did get her Every uh, vet day at the sanctuary is a bit stressful for the humans and the animals. I always get nervous when I have to dart because I, I don't want to do it. And it makes me a little, a little anxious. I'm looking at uh, Alice to see. It looks like she might be getting a little droopy. We'll see. Thunder is really trying to fight the drugs. He won't win. Come on, he's, you know, he's getting a little sloppy. There you go. All the way down, buddy. Okay. I'm anxious to, uh, to see Dr. Gonzalez's new rig. He's got a beautiful mobile vet unit. So I'm, I'm excited to go see it. Maybe I can show you guys parts of it. Maybe he'll give me a tour sure where he's parked at the moment. So one of the reasons why Thunder and Alice had to get uh, sedated is a doc's, I mean, doc needs to get his hands all over them. Thunder's got some tumors, might be fatty tumors, might be something else. Alice hasn't had anyone's hands on her in a while. She's just been so aloof. So it'd be, it's always a good idea to at the minimum, you've got on untouchable animals minimum touch them once a year but better to touch them you know every three months or so just to make sure but if you have to dart them or traumatize them to touch them it's kind of not worth it for their sake i'm gonna go check on alice now and see how she's doing i didn't get to see the the inside of the doctor's um, mobile unit because he was walking this way when i caught up with him so they're gonna get busy oh still walking around. Not sure if she's stumbling or not. Hmm. Let's see, sweetheart. Well, all right. Uh, I was uh, successful in darting Miss Alice, but she never went down. And so I tried darting her again and uh, was not successful. So, uh, so in order to not stress them anymore, done. Uh, but our vet is looking at Romeo right now as I left and checked out the dingoes. So it's really great. I love Dr. Gonzalez. I wish I could have shown you the inside of his mobile unit, but I'll get there. I'll uh, track him down one day and, and look at his new rig. It's pretty exciting. But anyway, my friends, I'll be back at the sanctuary tomorrow uh, as I'm getting ready to head to Wisconsin in a couple more days. But I'll, I'll be at the sanctuary tomorrow to get some things done. 
and uh, tonight, I, uh, I'm driving on my road. <laughs> tonight, I am going to go see some wild horses over at my buddy Paul's house and uh, help me get a little bit more used to these horses and the horses a little more used to me and of course hang out with my good friend. So you all have a fabulous rest of your week. I'll be talking to you tomorrow. This is Wolf Daddy signing off. Oh, and I gotta go make some dog treats. I'm gonna go uh, cook up some sweet potatoes right this moment and get some dog treats out because someone ordered $100 for the wolves and that's always awesome. So I'll be talking to you all soon. Have a great day. Have a great rest of your week. So it's the uh, day after uh, vet visit day and I'm back at the sanctuary. I've got the cherry tree for my friend's memorial. Like I had mentioned before, the gophers had taken out the root system. So anyway, I came here specifically to work on my oh! friend's memorial that we put in a few years ago. Unfortunately, the evil, evil gophers have taken out the root system of this once very beautiful cherry tree. And unfortunately now it's, it's not gonna make it. So I have ordered a new one and I have learned how to make an attempt <laughs> to make this gopher proof. Look at all the gopher holes everywhere. So they basically just came in and took this tree out. So I'm gonna actually build a cage for the root ball for the new tree that's coming and uh, hopefully protect its root base and give it a fighting chance. So my good buddy, Misoni, I'm so sorry that uh, these bastards killed your tree, but we're gonna fix it. So I dug this giant hole here and the gophers have filled this hole probably two foot. Because there's a, uh, there's a hole somewhere. Oh, right here. These crazy people. Well, they're in for a surprise. The shadows make it hard to see. But uh, I'm gonna fix this up and hopefully make it gopher proof. So now I'm taking this wire mesh and uh, putting it in the hole. And I'm pounding in some rebar to hold the mesh against the walls of the hole. I sure hope this works because I really don't want to have to keep replacing these trees because the dang gophers take over. So hopefully this will hold them back until this tree can really get established. I don't know if you can see this with all the shadows and glare, but I've got a second layer, see? So I've got a space in between right here. And, uh, and then I'm gonna pour rocks, small rocks in between. And then I'm gonna put uh, more of this mesh right down at the bottom of the hole. So I got my second hoop made and I'm putting it in with some rebar right now. Now I've even got uh, some screen down at the very bottom of the hole. And I'm gonna go get rocks and fill this section full of stones. I'll go into Thunder's habitat and do that. Okay, well I got my first wheelbarrow load and I will start dropping stones in here. I left for a minute and the wind blew the tree down. I should just leave it down so that doesn't happen again. I think I need about one more wheelbarrow more of these stones. I don't know if you can even see it here. But this is what I'm doing. I'm caging in the tree. I'm gonna cage in this tree. Hopefully stopping some gophers. I know the light's real bad, but I got this 
cage set up and I'm gonna still even put some some rocks and stuff in here uh, and I've got rocks on the bottom then soil then more I got cage on the bottom rocks soil and more rocks hopefully that'll work okay well I've got the tree in its cage I'm still going to be putting some rocks around the outside edge as well and then I'm going to get some more caging material to put all around the top of this all the way up to the trunk and, uh, and then just put some more rocks on it and then we can cross our fingers and pray that those little buggers will leave it alone but also right now I'm going to water it pretty pretty heavily and uh, see if we can get these roots the root ball was real tight, so hopefully it'll loosen up in there. It's got much more room. All right, so not quite done. Almost there. Almost there. I got to get some more wire and some more rocks. And then I feel like I might have this baby secure. Okay, I've got two layers of hardware cloth mesh, wire mesh, underneath these rocks. I have actually two layers of rocks. I uh, have two layers of wire, a layer of dirt, a layer of rocks, a layer of dirt, and another layer of rocks. And uh, tomorrow I'll come back and I'll finish up with the rocks and I'll make the little moat around the cherry tree for watering and I will be done. It's a beauty. Check it out. It's right around nine foot tall. Oh, this is exciting. It's bone day. Oh, there's Obi. Can't asleep us, let me tell you. Everybody wants their goods. <laughs> Draco's running back and forth. His is next. <laughs> well, there it is. Uh, my friend Misoni. His memorial is finished there. Uh, uh, feeding bones in the background as you just saw. Check out the tree. This is my friend Misoni. Now Misoni go, and I go way back like 35 years ago. We met and uh, I literally just fell in love with that human being. He was my close close friend and my sensei in martial arts. I met him when uh, I was struggling through martial arts because I was getting very violent minded. I was fighting every day and uh, I just had got to a point where everything was an opponent, you know, a, a light post, a, a power pole, you know, the side of a building. I was always thinking about fighting and punching and it was not healthy for my psyche and my emotional system. So when I met Misoni, I talked to him about it and he said, hey man, let's meditate together. And so we began meditating first thing in the morning and each morning and then we would work out together and he really helped me put my sort of my warrior spirit back together because it was out of balance and uh, I'm tearing up so we would uh, meditate each morning and then we would uh, uh, work out fight each morning and then we would go to breakfast together and uh, and then start our days our separate ways and it, this was every single day like six days a week routine with me and I, and I I just love him, adore him, and I miss him. He died from a, a virus in his heart. And his dream was to come to New Mexico and live, so this is where my buddy is living now. I love you, Misani. And uh, I hope this tree lasts forever, just like your spirit. Someone riding up beside me on a motorcycle. Anyway, I'm heading home for, and I'll be heading out to Wisconsin tomorrow. I was going to go see some kids and hang out with them for you to enjoy, but they were passing out bones and, uh, and I know that the wolves will drop their bones to come see me, but that's not very fair. <laughs> so, uh, I really wanted to see Naya. I might sneak in tomorrow morning. Whoops. <laughs> I might go see Naya in the morning just real quick before I leave. Daddy. But anyway, my friends, I hope you have a fabulous weekend and uh, remember to always uh, 
go to the Wild Spirit Wolf Sanctuary website and hit the donate button and help these kids keep eating. Uh, things are going pretty well there right now. I'm very pleased with the uh, uh, p new people that work there and our uh, new director, Brittany, and our director of animal care, Kendra. Everybody's doing a fabulous job. And uh, anyway, go to their website. Be sure to say in the comment section, Wolf Daddy sent me so they know that uh, you're you're talking to me, you're watching me, and you're helping out the wolves at the same time. Love you all. Have a fabulous weekend.